to make the square. You can use any yarn you like. I'm using a Karen Simply Soft with a four millimeter hook from Tulip. I will link both of these supplies in the description box below. To start the square, we will start with a slip knot. So cross the yarn over itself, grab the piece underneath and pull it through the loop. Place the loop on your hook and tighten it. Now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to make a loop to work into by slip stitching into the first chain that you made. And we're going to be working into this loop that you just made. To start the first row, we're going to chain four. One, two, three. This chain three is going to count as your first double crochet in the first round. It's not a real double crochet, but we're going to count it as if it is, and then chain one more. So that's our chain four. We're going to do 11 more double crochet chain ones directly into that loop you just made. So double crochet into the loop, chain one, one. Double crochet into the loop, chain one, two. Double crochet, chain one, three, double crochet, chain one, four, double crochet, chain one, five, double crochet, chain one, six, double crochet, chain one, seven, double crochet, chain one, eight, double crochet, chain one, nine, double crochet, chain one, ten, double crochet, chain one, eleven. And to close that first round, we're going to slip stitch into the third chain you made in that round. Just slip stitch right there. And after the first round, you should have something that looks like this. To start the second round, we are going to find the first chain space right after where your hook is, so right here. And we're going to slip stitch into that chain space because we're going to be working in the chain spaces going around. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain space just so your yarn is there. And we're going to make our first puff stitch in this chain space. Now, because the puff stitch requires us to be slightly farther away from the row, that's the best way I can describe it, we're going to chain three to start our puff stitch. For each of the puff stitches in this motif, we will be yarning over and pulling up four times. But since we've already made one post here, for the very first puff stitch, we're just going to be yarning over and pulling up three times to make this puff stitch. So. That just makes sense the way I explained it. Let's just follow along. Hopefully it'll make sense when I demonstrate it. So for the first puff stitch, we're gonna work into that chain space. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over and pull up. That's one, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, insert your hook into your chain space, yarn over, pull up three. Now for all the other puff stitches, we will be doing that four times, but since we already had a bar made by our chain three in the beginning. This counts as a full puff stitch. Now we're gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook. It should look something like this. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. Now we're going to make a full puff stitch in the next chain space for which we'll yarn over and pull up four times. So. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up four. We're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. On each side of the square, we will have three puff stitches. We're going to work on a corner now. So we've chained three, 
Now we're going to find that next double crochet and we're going to place a treble directly on top of that double crochet. So a treble crochet, you yarn over twice, insert your hook into the below stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is the beginning of the corner. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work into the chain space right next to that stitch you just did, right here. And we're going to place a puff. We're going to pull up four times. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up three. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up four. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook and chain two. In between each of the puffs that make up the sides, we're going to chain two. And in between the puff and the corner, we're going to chain three. So we're going to do the two more puffs that will make up this corner. So we're going to go into the next chain space and we're going to make a puff, yarn over, insert, pull up one, yarn over, insert, pull up two, yarn over, insert, pull up three, yarn over, insert, pull up four. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain two. That's two puffs on that side. Find the next chain space. We're gonna work into that next chain space. Yarn over, insert, pull up one, yarn over, insert, pull up two, yarn over, insert, pull up three, yarn over, insert, pull up four, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, and now since we've completed three puffs on this side, we're going to chain three and work on the corner. One, two, three. To do the corner, we'll do it just like the other corner. We're gonna find that double crochet right after the puff we just did. And we're gonna work directly into the top of that double crochet. We're gonna make a treble crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to work into the chain space directly next to that double crochet you just worked into and we're going to make a puff. Yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, pull up four. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain two. Find the next chain space right next to it and we're gonna make another puff stitch. Yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, pull up four, yarn over, pull through all the loops in your hook, chain two. Now we have one more puff stitch to do on that side. Find the next chain space, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, pull up four, Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, and now we're back at a corner, so we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Find the double crochet stitch right next to the chain space you just worked into. We're going to be placing a treble crochet right at the top of that double crochet to make a corner. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain two. Find the chain space right next to the double crochet you just worked into, and we're gonna make a puff stitch there. Yarn over, pull up, one, yarn over, pull up, two, yarn over, pull up, three, yarn over, pull up, four. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook and chain two. Find the next chain space, and we're gonna make another puff stitch. So yarn over, pull up, one, Yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, pull up four. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain two. We have one more puff stitch on the side. Yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, pull up four. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, and we're gonna make another corner, so chain three. One, two, three. Find the double crochet right next to the puff stitch you just worked, and on top of that double crochet, we're going to work a treble. 
So yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We have one last chain space to work into. So we're going to chain two and work a puff into that last chain space. Yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, pull up four, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain two, and now to close that row, we are going to slip stitch into the top of the first puff we made. And that is the end of row one. You should have a cute little puffy square like that. To start your third and last round of this square, we're going to chain one, we're going to place one single crochet in that same place we just slip stitched, just to anchor that row. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to find the first chain three space, which is at the corner, so we're going to be working into those two corner chain three spaces. We're going to place four double crochets right in that chain three space, the first one by the corner. So one, two, three, four. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to find the treble, that treble stitch which creates the point in our corner and we're going to place a treble on top of that treble. So we're gonna yarn over twice, we're going to place a treble crochet. Now on top of that treble in the corner, we're going to place a pico stitch. So it's going to be, a, it's gonna create this little cute little nub at the end. So we're going to chain three and we're going to slip stitch, actually technically not a pico stitch, but because for a pico stitch you would slip stitch into that first of the three chains you made. For this we're going to slip stitch into the top of the treble crochet. And now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to place four double crochets into that chain three space on the other side of the corner. So one, two, three, four. So at the end of your first corner, you should have something that looks like this. So we're making these really pretty pointed corners that have these little nubs at the end. To keep going, we are going to chain two and we're going to find that middle puff on that next side. And we're going to single crochet on top of that puff. Now we're going to chain two and we're gonna go right back into the next corner. And in that first chain three space in that corner, we're going to place four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to find the treble crochet that's in the corner, and we're going to place a treble on top of that treble, so yarn over twice, and treble crochet into that treble. Now to create the little nub at the end, we're going to do sort of a modified pico stitch, so chain three, and instead of slip stitching into the base of that pico, we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that treble crochet. Now we're going to chain two, find the next chain three space in the corner that you worked in the previous row, and we're gonna place four double crochets directly into that chain three space. One, two, three, four. And you have your second corner. Now we're going to chain two, find the middle puff that you, on the this next side. We're going to single crochet on top of the middle puff. Chain two, 
We're going to work into the next corner. We're going to make four double crochets in that chain three space. One, two, three, four. We're going to chain two. Now we're going to treble crochet on top of the treble crochet in the corner. Chain three, one, two, three. Slip into the top of the treble crochet, chain two. Place four double crochets in the next chain three space. One, two, three, four. Chain two, find the middle puff in the next side and place a single crochet on top of that middle puff. Chain two and find your last corner. Now we're going to place four double crochets in that chain three space. One, two, three, four, chain two, place a treble crochet on top of the treble crochet in the corner. Chain three, slip stitch into the top of the treble crochet. Chain two, place four double crochets in the next chain three space. One, two, three, four, chain two, and slip stitch into the first single crochet we made in this row. And fasten off. And that is your super easy three row puffy pointy square. It looks great in so many different types of yarn. This one has a bit more stitch definition. This is an anti-pilling acrylic, and this is a Simply Soft, also an acrylic, similar weights. You can do this in any kind of yarn you like. You can join them, create beautiful projects. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.